Hello Destiny Church family, Pastors David and Morgan here. Hey, I've got a scripture I want to start this segment off with. It's found in the book of Acts chapter 17. It says that He has determined the set times and the boundaries or the exact places where we should live. God did this so that men would seek Him and perhaps reach out to Him and find Him, though He's not far from each one of us. For in Him we live and move and have our being. Well, we are so excited that the Gosses have been called to move back to Rainsville, to our hometown. We are so surprised that the Lord would do this, but we're just thrilled and overjoyed. Over these next few weeks, we want to share the story with you of our journey. What has caused us to come back? What are the circumstances? And so, let's have a little bit of a talk, shall we, Morgan? Mm -hmm. Alright, so it started off with Adeline's second birthday party in May. You want to share that part? Yes. Cool. So, we decided to have Adeline's second birthday party in uh, Rainsville. And um, that night, uh, that was a Saturday night, um, we were asked to help lead worship mm -hmm. um, because uh, it sounded like y'all needed help that day with um, some of your team being out. So we was like, sure, we'll help. No problem. We love doing that. So um, we, uh, after we said that we would do that, Miss Renee and Mr. Kenneth began to tell us about how Pastor Mike was going to be transitioning out of um, Destiny Church and how they're excited and he's excited and so everybody's excited so we're excited too <laughs> and um, yeah. so the next day we you know helped with um, the church and they got to experience that and um, David had to leave to go back to Sarasota that that day and Adeline and I stayed behind a few more days well on Monday night um, we uh, were back at uh, Mr. Nay and uh, Mr. Kenneth's house and um, that evening I began to feel like the Lord was speaking to me about what he wanted to do in the area mm -hmm. as far as um, I felt like he's really wanting to do a really mighty move of God in the area and revival and yes, um, and he yes. began to show me some of the things that he wanted to do and um, so I was just kind of listening for several hours and it's like 3 a.m. And, um, and I'm like whoa God um, I, I don't know if this is just me or you're speaking to me and I just if this is you I, I, I need you to speak to my husband tonight or talk to him <laughs> so at 7 in the morning the next day I uh, texted David and I was like so did you get a word have a dream a vision or anything and and what she didn't know was the day before as I had to come back to Sarasota from church that Sunday morning the first hour of my drive I was having a conversation with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so he was having a conversation with me. I was just listening, right? I kept on telling the Holy Spirit, I, I, I think I know what you're telling me, Lord, but, but no, please, this doesn't make sense. I kept on giving him excuses of why this, this wouldn't work. Things are good for us in Sarasota. We've, we've got a great church family. We have an amazing, amazing circumstances here. But you know what? God knew that he needed to shake us up a little bit to get us back to Rainsville because something good is about to happen. And so that one hour trip, the Holy Spirit pretty much changed my heart. It was through tears and overcoming fears that I finally said, okay, Lord, I will listen. We'll, we'll, we will consider this. And so that's the first part of the story. Next week, we'll come back with the second part, but we love you guys very much. And uh, we'll see you soon. See you Bye. Soon. Bye.